Hey everybody, um, uh, got some old tools here that are pretty rusty and I'm looking into uh, trying to take off all the rust. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, pretty rusty, pretty bad. So um, I'm going to try to use, um, I heard a trick using uh, white vinegar so I'm gonna give it a shot let it soak for a little while hopefully it takes it off or at least most of it and I'll clean it and oil it so see what happens but uh, another thing uh, so if you're out and about in uh, any estate sales or or uh, farms that are selling and they're, they're um, getting rid of a lot of things uh, go to go to the tools because some of the best tools were are the old the old tools um, they're just better made better metal um, but I'm gonna give this a shot so we'll see what happens okay got some white vinegar here not much left but I'm gonna give it a shot see what happens. Let it soak. I think I'm going to put this, get a piece of metal here. I'm going to put it underneath and lift it up. See what happens, and uh, we'll let it sit for a, a few minutes, and see what happens. Okay, this is oh about 45 minutes later, and it looks like some of the rust has been coming off in this white vinegar. If I can zoom in. See a little bit of the uh, the rust. Um, I don't. I'm not sure how long to let this sit, but I know I know one thing. Uh, vinegar will, if you let it sit too long, um, actually do the opposite. We'll eat the uh, the metal away. Uh, I apologize for the camera. It's just a it's not a video camera. It's just a uh, camera with video ca capability. But uh, what I'm going to do right now is try to maybe take some of this rust off and see what happens with a wire brush. No more it's actually coming off. Alright, let's try this other side here. Come right off. I'm thinking about leaving it overnight, but we'll see. Because I got a spot right here. This spot right here is. It's really bad. It's raised. So it's like caked on there. You can tell. It's really taking the rust off. I don't want to leave it set too long. So this is just an experiment. I've never done this before with with uh, white vinegar. Let's see what happens. This is a safe, non-toxic. Oh, it is coming off with a little bit of elbow grease here. These are um, basically what these are, old shears that have been in the family for a long time. They, uh, I believe they might have been my grandfather's. So I'm trying to restore them. Maybe paint the handle. It looks like it was painted at one time before. Um, doesn't look like there's any rust on that. Um, 
maybe just a little bit. So we have a spring here, and I'll just oil it. I just want to take the rust off of this, the blade, and then um, you know, oil it and sharpen it. Looks like it's doing a great job out here. I like this. Again, like I said, it's non toxic. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I'll let it soak for a little bit longer. Here we go, about an hour and a half later. Soaking, and um, it's been soaking, and every once in a while I'll pull it up and I'll wire brush it. Um, I've been working on that one. It looks like it's doing pretty well here, but if you can tell that uh, a lot of the rust is coming off, and you're seeing the actual color come back to the metal. So, uh, this is a great, uh, great uh, tool to have. Uh, vinegar, non-toxic. Really doing a, a great job. Um, before it was very difficult to to do this. It's a lot easier now that all this rust is off. All I need to do now is you know keep keep taking this rust off, getting it off. A little bit more. Mm, it's a little bit from the apologize for the camera. That is uh, from rust, but uh, it's still okay. It'll do. I did a little bit of a uh, little bit of sanding. It looks great though. A little bit of work. I've been down here for maybe a couple hours doing this. So it looks great. This just needs painted. I'm gonna oil it. It still works great. I don't know how old this is. Um, if anybody wants to give me a holler and let me know or have an idea of the age of this, I can tell you I did find some writing on here. And, um, if you bear with me, I'll try to read it. Looks like it's uh, looks like it says whisk quick trim. I'll look this up on the internet. Whisk quick trim, Newark, New Jersey, United States. Rustoleum. Painter's touch, black, wood, metal, and other things. Oh, get that out of there. So, here we go. several coats but that's okay okay let it dry a couple more coats on 